welcome to Star Child Tarot. So we're here with your monthly astrology for May. And today we're doing Cancer, um, a water sign. So this is for your moon, sun, rising or Venus. I forgot to say that in the other readings. Um, thank you for you've already subscribed. I do appreciate that. If you're new here, please um, like, share, subscribe, comment. I really appreciate that. And check out my other channel, Soul Magic Inspirations. And my card shop and my Patreon, all the links are down below. So I really appreciate that. So we're going to look at May. So we're looking at the general message. We're going to get love messages and we're going to get you some guidance. So what does Cancer need to know about May? 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 Wow, we've got the devil. Oh, God. Queen of Swords. Two of Wands. Knight of Wands. So the devil energy is Capricorn. So you could be connecting with a Capricorn, but it's also talking about those lower energies. As I said, there are going to be some... I don't know if I said that at the beginning, but... We've got these two eclipses, um, one on the 30th of April and one in the mid-May. And we are going to get some things come to light that have been hidden, some secrets. And this could be in your life or in, you know, and there are definitely things in the world that are going to come to light. Some hidden things, dark, deep, dark secrets. So this could be talking about that in your life, the devil energy. Maybe some deep, dark secrets within yourself are going to come to light or these are to do with struggles that you've had in your life um this could be to do with addictions codependency negative patterns of behaviors okay so that could be something that's coming to light in your life and we've got queen of swords energy so that's air sign energy aquarius libra gemini so you could be connected to an air sign here and this is somebody that can be very blunt speaking speaks their mind Maybe somebody's going to speak their truth to you, the way they see their truth in a blunt way. Um, somebody with strong boundaries, um, you know, can be critical energy maybe. And we've got two of wands, so you have a choice to make, I feel, coming forward. And then we've got the knight of wands energy, which is that air, uh, fire energy, Eris Leo Sagittarius. So you could be connecting to a fire sign here. And it can be seen as that player energy, but it's very passionate energy here. So because we've got two court cards, there could be a choice with that two ones. There could be a choice between two people for you here. This could be that devil energy, um, you know, between air and a fire sign. So let's go a bit deeper. Why is the devil there? Why is the devil there? We've got Angel Dylan Wheat. So that is, to me, talking about the darkness again. You know, like the energy of the moon, the angel of the night is what that means. So the darker aspects of ourself. So maybe you're being triggered to look at those, okay? And maybe something's coming to light is what I feel with that. And then clarifying the Queen of Swords, we've got the Nine of Pentacles. So that is that independent energy. That's somebody that's happy on their own. Maybe you feel happier on your own um, than with somebody. You're independent, you're financially stable, and you're in a good place. You know, you're feeling good about being on your own. So where's the two of wands? Where's the two of wands at? Where's the two of wands at? got five of wands so it looks like there's been some conflict I, th I feel this could be internal conflict but it could also be external as I said there looks like there's two people here around you um, maybe you, you were involved in a third party um, but the five of wands is talking about conflict so this could be internal conflict again with that devil energy that dark energy um, maybe this is conflict over who to choose um, between head and heart energy that's what it feels like so we've got the knight of wands energy clarified by the lovers 
So the Knight, the Wand energy, the Knight of Wands energy feels like a soulmate energy here. Would that lovers clarifying that? So you could feel this is a soulmate, this Knight of Wands energy. Okay, so let's go a bit deeper. Complicated story here. So let's clarify the devil again. Why is the devil there? Why is the devil there? We've got the temperance. So you are going to resolve this, I feel. You're coming into balance. I feel you're doing healing on these aspects, you know, these negative aspects or whatever you're going through, those addictions, codependency, abandonment issues, whatever you're going through, I feel that you've been healing these aspects and you've been doing that work and you're coming into balance in yourself. So quite, why is the Queen of Swords? We've got hangman energy. So this could be on a pause, um, if this is a connection with somebody, um, or maybe this is you that's been in that energy and you're putting a pause on that energy. Maybe you've been um, speaking quite bluntly to people and it's not really got you anywhere maybe and you feel you're putting that on pause. Why is the hangman there? Seven of Cups. It could be confusion for you right now, as I said in your love life. It does seem that way. That there is some confusion around you. Um, and, you know, you've got various options, but you're confused about that. And we've got Two of Wands, which is about that choice. And we've got Eight of Pentacles. So you could choose to just focus on your finances and your work situation um, rather than deal with your love life energy. Why is the Eight of Pentacles there? Ace of Pentacles. So... It could be something to do with your work with the Ace of Pentacles. It could be maybe a new job you're going to focus more on your work rather than your love life, but take what resonates. So why is the Knight of Wands there? We've got Two of Swords. So again, it's talking about that blocked energy. Maybe your heart is not open to love here. Um, you're protecting your energy. Why is the Two of Swords there? Wow, we've got the Emperor energy. So that's masculine energy. So it does look like a, div a divine counterpart energy to me. Um, there, There is a divine counterpart because it's clarified by the lovers there. Okay. Um, this is like your other half, I feel. Um, but you're, with that double energy, you could be worried about opening up to this. Why is the Emperor there? Let's get another one on that. Why is the Emperor there? You've got Six of Swords. So you want to move away from the past. Maybe you want to get into better patterns of behaviour in this connection, um, in this new relationship. You want to get into better um, ways of dealing with a relationship. You know, leave past patterns of behaviour like addictions or codependency or whatever you was dealing with. To leave that in the past and have a, a clean slate to start again. And we've got the angel of the night, like, dealing with the shadow side, I feel. And we've got the world. So I feel that you are, with this moon, this, you know, this moon energy that's coming in, this powerful moon energy, there's a transformation. You're going into a new cycle in your life. You're starting a new cycle. And you're good at, you know, you're happy being on your own. And you've got Ace of Swords. You're going to get that truth and clarity about what it is you truly want for yourself. So why is the five of wands there? We've got page of swords. So again, this could be somebody watching you online. Okay, who's been keeping an eye on you online here. We've got ten of pentacles. So that's that abundant energy. Um, this this person could be somebody that wants to have this with you. This home, this family, this financial stability, this loving relationship. So why is the lovers there? We've got justice. So... With that justice energy, I do feel this is divine. This is um, a destined connection, okay, that's coming in that you're going to have abundance in. Even if you're feeling good about being single, sometimes that's when it happens, isn't it? The least, when we're not looking, someone appears. Anything else for cancer? Anything else for cancer? Anything else for cancer? We've got Nine of Cups. So you're going to have a wish fulfilled here with that Nine of Cups energy. Okay, let's have a look at your love messages. See if we can get anything else. So what love messages for cancer? 
What love messages for Cancer for May? I mean, you know, we're doing this reading for May. It doesn't mean to say it's going to happen exactly in May. But any time from now, maybe this is going to happen. So this is my Love Magic Oracle 1 and 2. It's all in the eyes. You put a spell on me and now I'm yours. Love messages for cancer. Intimacy, emotional, physical and mental. Unawoke to love. unrequited love so I feel you've been through this um, period of unrequited love somebody that you were connected with um, wasn't open-hearted wasn't open to love it could be you that wasn't it could be you that wasn't ready for love but we've got this in the eyes so you did have a soul connection you felt it through the eyes you felt someone put a spell on you or vice versa and wanting this emotion intimacy this emotional this physical mental intimacy with somebody but before it was unrequited love from whatever side that was what other love messages for cancer so we've got sacred sexuality so i do feel you're going to have that spiritual connection with somebody to have that cauldron of love so that's like the ace of cups to me so yeah, I feel there's a new beginning coming in and we've got divine timing. So this is all in divine timing. Anything else? We've got tantric love. So I do feel it is a very special connection that you're going to have with somebody where you'll be able to express yourself in that way and you'll have that total intimacy. So final guidance for Cancer, final guidance for Cancer. Wow, we've got enlightenment. So I feel that's what I was talking about with that devil energy, with that um, angel of the night. I feel you've got enlightenment over what, what it is, with what was holding you back in love. And we've got focus. So you've been focusing on what it is you want as opposed to what you don't want and you've got freedom freedom from the past you know we had that six of swords energy moving away from past patterns and behavior and we've got forgiveness so it's time to forgive yourself we all make mistakes and forgive others as well whoever's hurt you in the past and by doing this it will really free you up to invite this new love connection that wants to come in for you so sending you love and blessings cancer Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Many thanks. Bye for now.